Uh, good afternoon. I'll be very short. Um, from an information on technology um, platform, we have most most agencies or companies will use a Azure-based platform. Um, from a network <laughs> point of view, the NEPA does most of the, the information collects most of the information, marine information. Um, the Land Information Council is a cabinet, uh, cabinet appointed council consisting of about nine different subcommittees. And their main responsibility is to collate and manage all spatial GIS data in the island. For, or unfortunately, a lot of the marine information is not currently incorporated in this, at this level, but marine information is co incorporated from the, at NEPA. And from an open source point of view, we are part of the CMA1, and so we still use the geo network and just geo server system. In terms of products, NEPA currently produces habitats, um, protected areas, land use water quality, similar to what um, Barbados does. Um, the National Atlas, or in its, in its embryonic stage, um, the information that we produce is already on the CMA1 Atlas, but there's more information that can be made available to this Atlas. Um, information is really, to access information is really through NEPA. Yeah, um, it's not available freely to, to the public, but it can be requested by um, letter, or email, and so on. And um, uh, the information for CMA2 can be made available through um, web mapping services. Um, linkage to CMA2 would be continued updates of our existing information. And where possible, we could create new products for the for um, CMA2, and also what we could get from CMA2 is the lessons learned and best management practice for data and information sharing. Thank you. Okay, any, any comments? Or?